About a week and a half ago, I just got back to Canada after spending three months traveling around New Zealand and Australia. And the thing about these three months was I kind of had to give up some of the habits and the stuff I've been doing for the past like three, four years in my life that had become really important to me. And a lot of those habits had to deal with music and self-improvement. A big one of those things was going to the gym because here back in Canada, it wasn't too bad to have like a gym membership and I have a lot of like home gym equipment as well. So it wasn't costing me too much money to go to the gym and everything. But while I was traveling, there was like certain areas where I wanted to cut some of my costs and having a gym membership somewhere and like one time drop in visits was expensive. I went to the gym like once on that whole trip in Queenstown, New Zealand, and that that one visit cost me 25 bucks in like New Zealand dollars. So it's probably like 22, 21 Canadian, which is like astronomical for one gym visit. And the thing about this trip was I didn't necessarily just give up like the gym entirely and just quit exercising. I shifted my focus. So I started picking up a new form of exercise that I had a little bit of experience with, but not too much. And that was calisthenics. So I would always like I'd pretty much work out every single day, like with a couple rest days a week. So it was like five workouts a week. And I'd constantly do like pull ups and stuff and push ups and just like getting into new kind of calisthenics movements as well as like a lot of jump training. And I was doing a lot of running as well. And I knew that I wasn't going to be making as much progress as I was in the previous months in the gym because one, I wasn't eating as much because I was traveling and I was getting like I was burning more calories and everything. And I also like didn't have all the gym equipment and I was doing a different style of training. So I knew by the end of these three months that I wasn't necessarily going to be quite as big as I was before I left, which I was completely fine with going in. And the thing about this was when I got back to Canada, I knew I was going to be lighter. So I went and decided to weigh myself for the about the first time in three months. And before leaving, I was weighing in around like I'd say around 185, 190, depending between those ranges, depending on the day. And I'm about five foot 11. And I'd say I was around 12% body fat. Like I was in really good shape. I was like very, very strong. I was benching like 285 for my PR and I was almost close to squatting like uh, 405. I think it was around like 375 for my PR. And I, once I got back, I decided to weigh myself and I knew I was smaller because I'd hadn't really like obviously been in the gym and been eating as much and just doing a different style of training. So when I stepped up this on the scale, when I got home and it read 175, I was just like a part of my soul felt like it was ripped out. I'm like, man, I've lost some of the progress I was making. And the thing about this was I knew it was coming and I've always been a very self-conscious person. So I wasn't like mad at myself for losing muscle. I knew it was just part of the process. But as I was kind of thinking this over and taking some time, I decided to shift my perspective. And like when I was kind of talking to myself in my head, I'm like, you know what? No, you didn't really lose all that progress. You just shifted your perspective and you shifted your goals into a different place you were doing something different and the thing was in terms of being in shape i was in much better shape when i got back compared to when i left i was probably i'd say i was close i'm close to like eight nine percent body fat right now my waist is a lot thinner and my cardio is a lot better as well and my pull-up and push-ups number have improved like exponentially as well just from doing them all the time so in terms of progressing in the gym i'm not necessarily where i was i'm just in a different place i didn't necessarily lose progress or get worse i got worse at certain things but I also got better at other things. And this example is kind of the mindset that I want you to have in terms of when you're improving and when you feel like you haven't really improved at all. Because a lot of times we can get in the fact of like, oh, I'm not progressing at this thing or like, oh, I'm, I'm not gaining subscribers on my channel. But the thing is, progress is never a linear line. Progress is always like if you imagine like a stock graph, it doesn't go up like that. It just like it goes up and there's like little squiggles and everything. I'm not going to like put one on the screen, but you kind of get the example I'm doing with my finger like eh, here comes the airplane. But the thing is about progress is you only have so many like I'll use like skill points in like a video game. You only have so many skill points 
that you can apply to different things in your life and you only have so much time. So in my case, if I was so focused on progress in the gym and I was only focused on how big I was and how much weight I could lift, then yes, I didn't make any progress and I like, what's the right word here? I, I, I know the word. It's like I, I backed up. I, I don't know. I, it'll, it'll come to me, but I didn't like, I f fuck. What's that word? I'm trying to think of it. Never mind. Okay. I backed up and I didn't like, I re, oh, that, that's going to bug me so much. But in terms of like progress, I went down and I wasn't like where I was and I didn't progress. I actually came back to where, like I got a little bit worse. And the thing is, if I'm just focusing on that, then yes, I stopped improving. But if you open your mind and kind of realize like, okay, and you look at your life from a broader scale, think of all the things where you have improved. And for me, I improved my social skills so much on that trip, having to talk to new people every single day. I improved a lot. I improved a lot with my YouTube channel. I doubled my subscribers over the course of that trip, even though I didn't have a good place to record. And I was just outside with the crickets and I had to like hike like two hours to find a place to actually record. I still started my community and I still really started growing my channel in terms of like, it wasn't like a lot, but it doubled to in terms of what it was from when I left. And I'd say that is some pretty good progress. And also even in fitness, I got in better shape. Yes, I wasn't as strong, but I still made progress. This is the way that you want to look in your life in terms of when you have those moments where you're feeling like, man, I'm not making any progress, man, I'm not getting any better. Take some time and just think, what other aspects of your life are you improving? Because you're always learning no matter what. Even if you're learning to do a bad thing, you can get better at scrolling on social media. Your mind gets like accustomed to the stimulation and stuff. You're still putting your time and your energy to learning that skill of scrolling on social media. So it is up to you to decide where you want to improve. It's up to you to decide where you want to put your skill points. Is that just consuming mindless content on the internet? Or do you want to put your skills and your time towards something where it actually matters? And it's up to you where you want to put those things because you only have so much time and you only have so much effort. And it's up to you to find the things that you want to improve at so that you can actually start making some real progress. Now, with that being said, if you don't know already, my name is Colby Wall. I'm an 18 year old artist from Canada and if you like videos like this where I talk about self-improvement stuff and also want to hear some of the original music I have coming very very soon you might as well subscribe I'm not sure what you're waiting for it's a win for you and it's a win for me and also if you struggle with being addicted to your phone and want to learn how to actually take back control of your life I have a free community that you can join right now scroll down click the top link in the description to join also my original music is linked in the description and with that being said I have nothing more to say except never stop creating, my friend, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.